Three Yemeni civilians were killed and seven others injured in an artillery attack by Saudi-led coalition forces in western Yemen. Shelling targeted a wedding in the southern part of Hodeida province. The incident marks the coalition's first deadly attack on Yemeni civilians in the new year. Saudi Arabia has be, been leading a devastating war on its southern neighbor since early 2015. Tens of thousands of Yemenis, mostly civilians and children, have been killed in the onslaught. Joining us now from Asana is Abdul Latif Al Wishali, Press TV correspondent. Hello, Abdul Latif. Happy New Year. Hope you're safe and doing well out there. We've heard it time and again gas stations, uh, funerals, weddings, schools, UN shelters, you name it. Places that civilians should be really safe in, bombed continuously over the past five or six years by the Saudis and their friends. Your thoughts on this latest attack? Actually, the first day of this uh, year was quite bloody for Yemenis as the all uh, past days during the war on Yemen by the Saudi Arabia. Uh, a wedding hall, which is called Al Mansur Hall, was uh, or had an uh, artillery uh, bombardment uh, which caused three civilians killed, other seven were injured. We don't know their condition till now. Uh, there are no confirmed uh, information. Uh, the uh, uh, member of Supreme Political Council, Mohammed Al Houthi, condemned this attack and called the international community to start an international and immediate uh, investigation to reveal who stands behind all these attacks, this attack and all the previous attacks which has uh, killed thousands of Yemenis. The governor of Al Hudayda. <coughs> I'm sorry. The governor of Al Hudaydah uh, uh, also emphasized that the uh, continuous silence of the United Nations uh, encourages the uh, uh, militias to keep attacking and shelling and waging uh, uh, um, raids on the civilians. So there must be a, a serious action. They have to push uh, uh, more pressure on uh, Saudi Arabia and its allies to stop attacking civilians. And um, anything from the out of the UN uh, as far as the condemning this latest attack? We know the UN has condemned attacks in the past, but never passed any kind of resolutions or anything beyond condemnations with some teeth that could really hurt or impact the Saudis and what they're doing in Yemen. They have a team on Al Hudaydah to observe the uh, the uh, ceasefire agreement, but nothing is happening. They keep uh, breaching the uh, agreement. They keep shelling the people here, there in Al Hudaydah government, which is uh, suffering a, a really bad uh, healthcare system. Uh, 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 malnutrition is spreading uh, over there. But you know, uh, UN keeps only condemning these uh, uh, attacks and not doing anything to the Saudi Arabia and its allies. There must be a serious uh, serious action the uh, world community must uh, do something for Yemenis, for the civilians in al Hudaydah to stop being killed by Saudi Arabia. All right, but thank you. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. That was our Sana correspondent there joining us. And viewers, that's it. That's all the time we have. And that's it for your Press TV News Bulletin. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.